What's up, people? I am on my way to Red Bluff to preach at the youth group that I started, Ignite, for the last time. For at least a while. For the foreseeable future, this is the last time I'll be speaking to these guys. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited to see the kids. I haven't haven't been at the youth group for a couple months now, so I've seen a couple of them at Sunday church, but other than that, um, I haven't seen a lot of them. So it's gonna be good to see those guys, catch up with those guys, and be able to preach one last time. So I'm excited about that. You know I'm wearing purple. You know the Ravens right now playing the Steelers. Ooh, uh, a little bummed I'm missing the game, but preaching the gospel definitely vetoes football, so. Yeah, so I'll have to just keep an eye on the score and, you know, pray pray for the Ravens to take it. I'm gonna wear my purple proudly out here in Cali. You know I preached uh, last year with my Ravens jersey the day that they were playing the 49ers, so that was fun. A lot of people in the audience were giving me looks, but hey, you know, be you. It's gonna be a good night. Feel that young sick. Your hand is getting hot. That's what it is. It's getting hot in here. Hello. Holy Spirit! Ignite Red Bluff. I literally had to stop and pull over to scratch the surface of what just happened. I just had a moment with one of my youth that I've had in Red Bluff for the past year plus. I just had a moment with him in my car that I will never forget. I preached tonight at my youth group for the last time and no joke, what just happened in my car, if that's the only thing that Jesus did the entire two plus years that I was youth pastoring in Red Bluff, it all would have been worth it. I'm not gonna go into details because that's between me, him, and Jesus. But youth pastors out there, pastors out there, anyone that calls themselves a Christian, the prayers that you pray and the seeds that you plant in the hearts of God's children will manifest one day. Whether that's the same day you pray, whether that's a week later, whether that's years later, I sowed seeds into this young man for months and months and months and months and months. And the last day that I'm in Red Bluff preaching, it manifested in full. So I encourage you, if you have a youth group and you only have five kids, 10 kids, 15 kids, 20 kids, you pour into those kids like they are the most amazing people in the world because that's who they are. There is so much untapped potential in this generation that God is waiting for them to fully submit themselves to Him so that He can live through their lives. That, that, that when they touch the world around them, they, the people that they are touching are experiencing Jesus. I am blown away. I do not have words for what just happened. My heart is so full of joy and thankfulness for the moment that I just experienced with one of my youth. Because I tangibly just saw the, the presence, the Spirit of God come upon a, a young man's life and dramatically, radically change their life to the point where from the beginning of the night to, to right now, that person does not look the same. That person looks like Jesus. That person had a heart transformation that they will never be the same again. They will never be the same again. And that is my heart call. My heart call is to do that. That is why I became a youth pastor. That is why I'm giving my life to this generation, generations to come, to be the voice of encouragement, the voice that says you can do all things through Christ, the voice that says give up your life and follow Jesus. And I promise you, in doing that, you will gain everything. You will gain Jesus Christ himself. You can have the world, but give me Jesus. Get ready because 
this generation is about to explode with passionate young people that love Jesus and that are unashamed to proclaim the, the name of Christ in their in their schools, in the streets, in anywhere that they go. And it's going to radically change the world. And it's an honor to be a part of it. And I thank you everyone that's watching this that is a youth pastor and that is a pastor and that is just a passionate christian that loves the hell out of the world literally the tangible hell that exists in the world for those of you that love that thing with a passionate fire i thank you so much i thank you i thank you for the youth pastor that's spoken into my life i thank you i thank you mike smith i thank you Tom Crandall. I thank you, Ben Serple. I thank you, Brandon Rice. I thank you, Banning Leapshire. I thank you, every youth pastor that I personally know. Ryan Bastris, Jeff Kutz, Pastor Jason, everyone, if I'm forgetting anyone, if I'm forgetting anyone, forgive me, but Connor Schramm, every, every youth pastor that I know that is giving your life to this generation, I thank you because we are changing the world even if we can't see it right now because I promise you the seeds that we are sowing are making a difference in this world and I'm excited to partner with pastors and youth, and youth pastors to see this generation one completely for Christ. I have faith for it. I have supernatural faith for it and I'm sorry I could go on and on and on but this night was so amazing I couldn't even scratch the surface of what just happened so bless you if you're watching this video I hope that you're just, you're feeling what just happened in the car because God is good and he always comes through and he always, always, always pursues his children and he always wins at the end. God, you're good. God, you are good.